Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make little candy clip like this. I've been getting a lot of requests for it. So the materials you're going to need is 3 8 uh, ribbon, which is this, 3 8 of an inch wide, and, they're, and you're going to need I'm just, today I'm using two different colors, white and red, like the typical candy colors. You're going to need two red and two white. Or you can do four different colors, or you can do just one color, it, it doesn't matter, but you're going to need four ribbons, and they're each going to be 22 inches long. You're also going to need another 3 eighths ribbon that's four inches, four inches long. And to make the little bows here, that ribbon is one eighth of an inch. It's one eighth of an inch wide. And you also need a tool. I buy it on the roll. And you'll need an alligator clip and a ruler, scissors, and of course a glue gun. So the first thing you're going to do, oh you're also going to need a lighter. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to heat seal all the ends. Let's do that. Well, when you make the candy clip, you don't have to heat seal the ends yet when you make the, the swirl candy. So we're just going to place them. We're going to get the ends and start stacking them. And we want, depending on what color you want on the outside, which I like the red on the outside, because you're going to have a white clip and the tool is going to be white so I like the red on the outside so you're going to you're going to fold it with the white on the inside so we're going to stack them with the white on the bottom and the red on top and you're going to make sure that they're all stacked on top of each other and we're going to fold it in half with the white on the inside, like this. Can you see? I'm going to fold it in half, and I'm going to make sure that they're parallel, like this. And you're going to take the end that's the folded end right here, and we're going to start. To roll it like so. So you're going to start rolling it and make sure it's a tight roll. So it starts to look like this. And if you need it tighter, just hold it on the sides right here and tug on it. But try not to let it go because then it'll unravel. Just going to continue to roll it all the way down. And also try to make sure that none of the ribbons are sticking out, like coming loose. Make sure it's flat. And when you get to the end, like right, these pieces are going to be longer, the inside pieces are going to be longer, and the outside pieces are going to be shorter. So when you get to the end, you take the very top piece, which is a red piece right here, and you just hold it back, and you're going to cut the rest of them shorter than this piece. So you're going to take your scissors, and you're just going to cut 
goes off like that. Like so. And we're going to heat seal the ends of these. So you take your lighter and you just run it along the edge until you feel a seal. That way the ribbon doesn't unravel. And you're going to get your glue gun and you're going to put a dot of glue under it right here. And you're going to press it down. To the clip. Then you're going to take this piece, the red piece here, and you're also going to heat seal the end. Okay, now you're going to glue this red top piece down like this so that it holds the whole thing together. So you're going to get your glue gun and you're going to put glue here on the end. And you're going to lay it like that. And you hold it down for a couple seconds so that it sets. And then you have your cute little candy piece. And you can use this as a centerpiece or to make a lollipop, which basically what you do is you just line the clip and you can glue it to the end like this and add a little bow right here. Or you can make a little candy piece like mine. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to line our alligator clip. So you take your 4 inch piece and you're going to heat seal the ends. And you're going to get the glue gun and run about an inch of the ribbon of glue. And you're going to pinch the clip on down the center. Like this. Then you're going to run a line of glue down the top of the clip. And you're going to run your ribbon down the top. And make sure it's parallel right here. It's even on both sides. And then you're going to turn it over. And you're going to add a little bit of glue right to the back end. And you're going to put the rest of your ribbon like that. You can leave your clip like this, or you can add a little gripper. Which these I just use the, the stuff that you use to line your kitchen cabinets with. I just cut them into strips and cut little pieces out like this and I glue them inside the clip right here so that when you put it in the little girl's hair it doesn't slip out. It grips the hair. It's like a little rubber piece. So I'm just going to add some glue to the inside of the clip and you leave it open. Place the gripper inside. Now you can just sit here and wait till it dries, or I like to press down on it because it's a lot faster. But it, my fingers are used to the heat, so. And then you just make sure it's completely dry before you close the clip, because if you close the clip and it's still wet, the clip's going to be glued shut. There you go. So you can add the. If you want a lollipop, you can add the piece here. And just glue a little bow right there, and you have a cute little lollipop, or I'll show you how to make the candy. So now we're just going to get our tool, and we're going to cut probably about six inches or so. So you get like a piece like this, and you're going to place your candy piece on the end, and you're just going to roll it. Roll it on down like that. Then you're going to twist the ends like this. And you're going to get some alligator clips to hold each end. You're going to get your thread. Or this one, with this one, you can use thread, but I like to use embroidery floss because it's stronger and it won't snap 
when you're tugging on it. So I'm going to use embroidery floss. So I'm going to get a piece of embroidery floss. to tie a tight knot right here you can take the clip off and snip off the excess and you do the same thing to the other end Of course, you cut off the extra string. And that's just the beginning right here. Then you're going to get, I took about five inches of the, what size is it? One eighth of an inch ribbon. And you're just going to add a dot of glue the back here. So that when you tie your bow it doesn't slide off. You're gonna add the ribbon to the back. And you're just gonna tie a bow. bow. And you're going to do the same thing to the other end. And when you're done with putting both your bows, you cut off the ends to make them a little bit shorter. And you glue it to the clip like this. And you'll have a cute little candy. Looks like it's wrapped in paper. Or in little plastic. Hope you guys enjoyed and have fun.